It's been a long time since we've been catching fish here on the South Florida Fishing Channel because of the wind, but today is a nice day. We got my dad at the helm. We got my brother chilling on the bow like a villain. I got the beer cooler. Yeah, he's got the beer cooler oh, protecting it. It's afternoon. It's a little late. And we got a little secret today. This is how you know we're going to catch fish. Booyah, baby. Deep drop in electric real time. Let's get to it. We're going to leave Key Largo and head straight out to the Isla Mirada Humps and we're going to be deep dropping in about six to 700 feet of water. Yeehaw! Boom, zippity snap and we're out here in 500 feet of water at the Isla Mirada Humps. There's one, two, three, four, five, there's like six or seven boats out here with us. The current is almost non-existent, 0.7 miles of current. So this is gonna be an easy day of deep dropping. We got, what is this, a four pound lead weight. Then we got our chicken rig, the South Florida Fishing Channel chicken rig. Don't forget to get yourself some or else how am I gonna put gas in the boat? And then we got a light at the front and our Ban X 1000 electric reel. Let's drop her on down. On the Banex 1000 electric reel, I have 3,000 feet of 60 pound braid with 50 feet of 100 pound mono top shot going straight to a crimp swivel. I snap on a light and my deep drop chicken rig and put a whole squid on each hook with the weight at the bottom of the rig. The electric reel has a power cord that plugs directly to a battery and this battery should easily run two reels all day long. I found the spot. This is a good spot. It's got like armrests. It's got a beer rest. I got my squids rigged up. We'll drop them on down here. Make sure your drag is nice and tight. Now we're gonna send her on down. Okay. Yeehaw. That's how easy it is. The engine just turned on. That's assisted drop. Yeehaw. <laughs> Come on, fishy. Yeehaw. Fish on, baby. Finally! <laughs> we got a fish coming up. We got color. Red? Yeah, Red baby! Snapper. Yellow snapper! Oh yes! That's a really nice one. Holy smokes! That might be a world record! Nope. All right, get him unhooked here. Damn, no, that's that's a big yellow snapper. Woo! <laughs> oh, yeah. How's he look? Beautiful. Big. Delicious. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> It's rolling up. We got another fish on. Fish on number two. Ugh. The waves are picking up. <laughs> I don't want to stand on this side here. Holy moly, what is that? You on. I think we got two. Oh! We got three. Holy crap. All right, All right bring them on. It's a double. It's a triple. It's a triple. What? Barracuda too. Oh! The hungry little bastard. Holy smokes! The whole barbecue, I mean, uh, <laughs> buffet. <laughs> it's like a sneaky rig for a fish you want to eat. I know, right? This guy. That's like actually a pretty big one. So the other good spot. And that barracuda is great bait. That's bait for the next deep dropping trip. These look pretty good, huh? Yellow eye snapper. <gasps> Look what came out of the barracuda. He's 
still alive, kind of. Swim free, my friend! Look, we got our own personal aquarium here. It's kind of like an aerator, too. <laughs> and he's still there. He's swimming around. Oh, yeah, he's got to fight the current. Woo! He's our new fish toy. Three boys. Oh. I think he's coming, too. Look, he's starting to swim. There he goes! He's swimming. Look, his little back flipper is moving around. Oh, yeah, he knows where to go. He's going down. There's a big shock right ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm about to catch this sucker. He went, he ran right under it. Big Woo, boy. big boy. All right, we got our fish in the box and it started to look real sporty out here. It's looking so sporty that we decided we're just gonna troll back home. We got three lines out right now. We just took a huge wave over the bow. That's when you know things are good. When yeah, waves I'm still are wet. <laughs> yeah, we're a little wet. As soon as I started videotaping, the waves calmed down a bit, which is great. Or so my camera doesn't get wet. Woo! Got a little bit of water in the boat. Oh, oh, Yeehaw! How you doing up there? Ah, oh, it's not too bad. <laughs> it's a bit of a roller coaster. <laughs> I know when it starts screaming and alert Andy. Yeah. Oh, there's a big one. Woo! Damn. Oh. Oh. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> This is where things turn bad. The forecast was for the wind to die down in the evening, but the wind just kept getting stronger. We stopped trolling and start running back to our port at a slow cruising speed between 15 to 20 miles per hour. And at one point we hit a wave and hear a loud crack at the transom. The fiberglass started breaking off at the top bolts on the transom, creating huge pressure on the bottom bolts below the waterline which started cracking through the fiberglass, causing water to flood into our bilge. We quickly slowed down the boat and tied ropes around the engine to try and relieve some pressure off the bottom bolts. If the engine ripped off the transom, the hole below the water would have been so big that it would have only taken a few minutes for us to sink. Every wave was cracking the fiberglass more, and this is where the video starts. I to see the tower.
Pirates Coast Guard right there. Holy crap. Damn, look at them go. Damn, I love the Coast Guard. Within 5 to 15 minutes from putting out our Mayday call, we have a C-130 Coast Guard plane circling us. So huge thanks to the Coast Guard for being there so fast. I'm going to feel a lot better about paying taxes this year. Okay, big of a wave and we heard a loud snap we the, tra the transom popped so the engine's about to break off in the fiberglass in the bilge cracked too so there's water coming in oh I hope that we don't lose the engine <laughs> we're in the middle of nowhere that means we lose this oh yeah we lose And I want to give a big thank you to Brian Lamb. He heard our call to the Coast Guard and was the first boat to come out to us. Shortly after, Towboat US and Coast Guard came to us and assisted in getting us back to the house. Our transom kind of like snapped and I'm worried that uh, it's cracked under and I'm worried the engine's gonna break the whole thing off. Almost home. Home sweet home. <sighs> well, we're back at the dock. Last night we lifted her out of the water. Why don't I just sum up exactly what happened? This was probably the scariest thing that's ever happened to me. If you remember the one video I posted with Dan where we got caught in the storm and we had lightning crashing all around us and I thought that was bad. But I'm gonna tell you right now that this episode, getting stuck in that storm doesn't even come close to knowing you're about to sink way offshore. The sun's going down and there's no one around to help. What happened was we were about four miles south of Molasses Reef in about 300 feet of water. Molasses Reef Tower looked this big on the horizon. So way out, we were way offshore and the waves were kind of picking up. We were running and we hit one wave and we heard a loud crack. And I'll show you the crack right now. So here's one crack. It runs all the way down, down here. Here's another crack. There's a big crack, this one. These cracks ran all the way down. You see the crack runs all the way here. So this whole transom here. So my transom basically cracked where my engine's bolted in and this whole thing wiggles. And when we were in those waves, my brother looked at me and said that it looks like cardboard because the engine, it was just moving like this with the engine on it. I thought the engine was gonna fall off any second. I thought the next wave, every wave was the last wave. Now there's two bolts down here. This bolt and this bolt right there. And that's below the water line. So the water line's here and these bolts are down here because the top basically cracked off. All the pressure of the engine was pushing on those bolts, which cracked a hole on this fiberglass that you can see through the bilge. I'm gonna see if we can take a look at it right now. Yeah, he was... I don't know if I can get my camera in here. Okay, so this bolt 
in that bolt and you see the crack here the water was pouring out of this crack filling up my bilge so we were taking on water in the bilge from that crack so every wave this whole top part was just swaying and I, I just thought if this if this fully gave out on a wave and the engine would have ripped off, it would have ripped a hole, probably about that big or bigger, probably two of them down there and then we would have sank real fast. And it was getting dark, there was no boats around. And that's when I put out a mayday call and within five minutes we had a Coast Guard plane flying above us and circling us, asking us if they need to drop a pump. The water leak our bilge was able to keep up with. About 20 minutes after that, we're still, uh, at this point we're going about three miles per hour towards Molasses Reef Tower. It was the longest hour ever to get to Molasses Reef. And when we got close to Molasses Reef, there was another fisherman that heard the mayday call and he actually came out to us. He was the first one on scene after the Coast Guard plane that was circling us and he started to shadow us basically driving next to us. He actually took a picture of us and posted it on social media and I got a bunch of messages asking us if we were all right because this picture you see a bunch of tow boats and Coast Guard and everything around us. Super stoked he was there. I instantly felt a thousand times better knowing that if our boat would have gone down that it wouldn't be me, my brother, and my dad just floating in the dark in the middle of nowhere. The crazy thing is we saw that huge shark right before all this happened so that kind of lingers on your mind a bit if you fall into the water at night. Then at that point, towboat US, two, to, one towboat US boat showed up, then Coast Guard showed up and then another towboat came. Everyone left except the Coast Guard and then Coast Guard basically just shadowed us, followed us all the way back here to the house. At that point it was pitch black when we got home. We pulled the boat out of the water and that it was, I guess you could say, a really close call. For me personally, the worst part of the experience was knowing that my dad and my brother were on the boat. That's not fun. The whole Winkler family would have gone down in one episode. <laughs> uh, we're about to fillet the fish and we're gonna have ourselves a catch and cook. We also got some lobster that one of my subscribers sent. Joyce, thank you. But before we get into the whole cooking thing, who can do some fiberglass work for me? Cause here's the dilemma I'm facing. I pulled my boat out of the water from right there and my house isn't high enough so I can't pull my boat out of the house. If I want to bring my boat somewhere to get fiberglass work done to it, I have to put it back in the water and drive it to a dock somewhere. And to be honest with you, I don't want to put this thing back in the water because that engine might fall off. We tied ropes to it. See, we tied all these ropes to it. If the ropes would have actually held it, if the top of the transom would have ripped off, I don't know, probably not, but we were kind of desperate at that point. But I'm not sure what to do now, how to get it fixed. I could take the T-top off, but that thing is bolted. No, it's got like 10 huge bolts in the stringers. They're like permanently in there. I don't know if we can take that T-top off, at least not easily. But here's what I want to do. I've always wanted a dive platform. So I want to put a platform that basically comes out maybe a foot, maybe a foot and a half, maybe even two foot if my boat can handle it. Come out here so the engine sits further back. I want to close this transom off. Boom, so every wave that I hit, I don't get water coming in the boat. And I just really want to make the whole transom of this boat super sturdy. I had the whole hole inspected before we put the tower on it, and it's a good hole. Doesn't have any issues according to them, so I'm not sure. I don't know, the transom just, it just gave out. It's rated for a 250, so it's a 250 on there. It's not like I'm over, I put too much weight on it. I don't know, it's just, <sighs> damn. But yeah, if you think you can help, with this situation. Maybe you know someone that can help me. Shoot me an email, heiko at southfordafishingchannel.com. It's literally the last thing I needed. Let's fillet some fish. Time to get some fishies out of the boat. How they look? Great. All right. There's 
for a lot of work, these fish. These fish almost cost me everything. Mm. But I bet they'll be tasty. Right? The things a man will do for his fish, I'll tell you what. You had some sort of luck, I don't even know. I don't know how this stuff happens to you. Oh, look at that. Wow. That's all I need. Oh, yeah. It's got some big old ribs. I'm going to try to cut right around the ribs. Last rib. Boom. Okay. Boom. Boom. There's a little bit of rib meat here, but the ribs on these guys are so thick that I can't cut through them with my knife. See that? Mm -hmm. Hear that? Thick ribs right there. So we'll save him for the stone crab traps. I'm stone <laughs> crab traps, here we come. Just give him a quick um, skinning. Boom, easy. And there we go. I'll finish playing the rest of these and we'll see you guys on in the kitchen. <laughs> All right, we're in the kitchen. We got a pan, we got a pot, we got eggs, we got crispies, and then we got something a little special here. Do you know what this is? No. You don't know what that is? It's from Toadfish Outfitters. Am I supposed to know what it is? I don't know. Do you guys know what this is? No. Looks like maybe a lobster. Looks like a knife from a distance. Nobody knows what it is. Well, we're about to find out. Come on this way. I gotta give a huge thank you to Joyce for making this beautiful world record Toro snapper mount for me. It feels real. And then she also sent us this big old box here. So where should we put this? Where's the lighting the best? Maybe like right here? Yeah, you can get a nice view in it. Joyce, 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 you really outdid yourself. We just got this in the mail this morning. Look, there's even a smiley face. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. I mean, this is like the cherry on top after such a stressful situation. Wow. Whoa. There are so many more in here than I thought there would be. How many is that? I can't even count that high. <laughs> Me neither. That is... Wait a second. That's one, two... Look how big these guys are. Oh, my oh look at those claws! They're still alive! That's like, um... Who's the guy from Spongebob that works out all the time? I, I know exactly who you're talking about. <laughs> Not Mr. Krabs, the other guy that plays volleyball and he's oh. all ripped. That's who this guy is. Imagine the meat in there. I've never had Maine Lobster before. Really? Uh-oh. But there's something else in here. Maybe tasty. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna have a little appetizer here. Let's just start with four, cause I don't know about you, but I'm not, I'm a little scared. Oysters. So that's what this is right here. This is an oyster chucker. Now, Joyce, I don't know if Joyce knew when she sent me these that I'm not really a, an oyster person. Wait, what did she say to me? Hold on, let me read her text. I told Joyce I have no idea how to eat oysters because I've never, and she said, be daring, eat one. So here we are. Got my oyster chucker, which I actually know how to use. You kind of just creep it up under the oyster. Actually, I shouldn't have said I know how to use it because... Did you look this up? No, I didn't look this up. I feel like something's missing. No? I should have watched a YouTube video on right? this. Right? I was like... I... How do you get into these? I'm going to pick an easier one. Wait, I think you go from here maybe? Do you know how to chuck oysters? I don't... No. I feel like something... Use an hammer. That's in my eyeball! 
house. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to get into this thing. This is so sketchy. No instructions in that box, just lobster. Yeah, how to chuck oysters. Let's watch some videos. This is Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart? That's not Martha Stewart. Of oysters and the oh, it's like Martha Stewart on the front. I don't know why. We just watched a Martha Stewart video. It wasn't Martha Stewart, but it was very helpful. So let's see if I can now get this oyster open. We're supposed to ram it in here. Yes, just keep... Oh, it's opening! I'm in. I'm in. Oh, yes, I'm in. Okay. Whoa, some juices came out. We're not supposed to spill those juices, according to Martha Stewart's intern. Then work your knife along the edge. Holy sh I'm doing it. Yeah, good job. <gasps> Ew, oh my god. Okay. And then you want to flip the oyster. This doesn't seem right. I think I totally messed this one up. Who wants the first oyster? Does it go with beer? It comes with beer afterwards. Can... Take a lemon. Ready? Mm -hmm. We're gonna do a little lemon slice. Squeeze some pure happy lemon in there. Who wants it? Alex is coming. Alex is gonna be the first one to try it. <laughs> I'm generally nervous. I, I don't know what I signed up for. Which, am I doing it right here? I guess sl slurp the whole thing up and... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright. By the way, if you don't already follow Alex on YouTube, just search Alex Winkler. It's gonna <laughs> pop up right here like this. <laughs> it's not gonna try to crawl back out. What, you is, don't... <laughs> what is left over here? What did you do to this poor thing? I, I murdered it. Is it detached? Mm-hmm, it should just, it should like, like a shot, just all go down. <clears throat> oh, too bad. Yeah, nice and salty. I'm definitely going for my beer though. All right, here's mine. Alex made it look easy. I feel like I'm not gonna make it look as easy as you did. My heart rate, I think, just went up a little bit. Really? Stop. You eat the weirdest things, don't even. I feel like my boat's taking on water right now. Here we go. Hmm. It feels like it just cannonballed into the river or something. It actually was kind of good in a weird way. But now we got Alex chucking one for Caitlin. Caitlin, you ready for your oyster? Oh my god, what do you... I have to do one, huh? There's like peer pressure. After I see you guys eat that weird, those weird critters like cockroaches <laughs> oh and whatnot, oh this is nothing compared to that. Water bugs, not cockroaches. Nah, water bugs. I don't know if that was a water bug. That was a good old freaking nasty, nasty. It was extra gnarly. All right. We live a pretty messed up life. How's it going over there? We're making progress. Oops, I think I got a little squirt on the floor. <laughs> this thing is hurting for a squirting. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anybody who knows what they're doing is probably shaking their head and, and so upset right now. So I apologize to all those people out there that see this for what it really is. <laughs> okay, then you flip it. Yeah. All right, we're ready for you. Hold on, let me clear off some of these shells. Okay, man. You excited? I don't need to be in this. Just make sure to try not to swallow any like shells. I don't know. I tried to. I tried to make sure there wasn't any left. Either. Shove it on down. Oh that my throat. god, it's like huge. It's okay. Before it walks away, you gotta yeah. get it. Oh yeah. Oh 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 my god. Oh my god. But why did that happen? <laughs> Sorry if my cutting wasn't up to par. It's okay. No, it was not you. It was not you. That was that was so intense. We got the yellow eye snapper, aka silk snapper, but they have yellow eyes, so I'm just gonna call them yellow eye snapper. Bam! Fat bag right there. But first, why don't we? We got some boiling water. We got some butter. A little bit of olive oil, and then garlic, chopped garlic. 
Dump that in there. Do one of you guys want to play God and pick the lobster that's going to go in first? This Probably one, this guy. This one is volunteer. He's already reaching for the heavens. What do you think, bro? Do you like that? He doesn't know what to think. Yeah. I don't even know what to think. Oh, I see the mother of all pearls down there. Do they, wait, can you... <laughs> this guy. Oh my God. Whoa. Look at those claws. That's so crazy. Here we go. We're, I'm going per directions to drop them in boiling water. This was not my idea. Sick. World renowned chefs do this all the time. Oh no, oh no. Please don't make it sound. Please don't make it sound. Please don't make it sound. <clears throat> I think, I think it's good. I think we're good. Oh my. The deed has been done. I think we did it. That was rough. Mm. All right, let's do the fish. Ready? It's real good. Butter, gar gar garlic butter. And what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna take our fish. We're gonna cut the bloodline out. Bam, just like that. I probably have way too big of a knife for this. Well, you got the jumbo one, huh? I always grab the jumbo one. Boom, we're gonna dip it in the egg wash. This is just eggs, that's all it is. Dip it in the um, panko. Just keep it real simple, no big deal. And then we're gonna dip it right in here. Bam, just like that. Boom, panko. And we'll drop him right in there. Shazam! Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, perfect. Flipping these bad boys. Woo! Looks like we got a couple burnt uh, little garlic crispies on there. Damn! Look at that yellow-eyed snapper. You see that? Crispy golden brown with a couple little burnt pieces of garlic on it. <laughs> yeah, we burnt our food. Let's go on and try it. Ooh, yeah, that's wow. a crispy. That's a good sound. That's a good. You hear that? I did. That was. I like that crispy sound. It's really good. You want to come in and chase some of this? Elliot, 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 get Elliot. off that female. Here. <laughs> Look at these two. Bowser, be nice to your sister. She's not old enough yet. <laughs> Oh yeah, that does have a nice little crisp to it, huh? <laughs> what are you doing back there? Oh wow. Mm. You did it, Haika. Yes. All right, let's cook some more. Have another bite. Yeah. What do you think, Penny? What do you think? Don't think it's SpongeBob. Don't think it's SpongeBob. How many are <laughs> in here? It's Wait, like. Can you show one to Pete? Oh. <laughs> Let's see how messy he handles the situation. Wow, she's pretty chill. I mean, he's pretty yeah. chill. Yeah. Hey. Good girl. Oh my, stop it right now. I need to get a picture of this. Oh my God, this is the funniest freaking thing ever. I can't even. Chilling like a villain, eh? They're, they're really posing well, huh? No one's moving. No? And Elliot's just like, hmm. What you doing in my house? Why don't we take this fat boy apart? I'm guessing it's the same way as the spiny Florida lobster. Yeah, he's a big boy! Hope I'm doing this right, I don't know. I was told that there's a lot of meat in the knuckles. Oh yeah, look at... Oh man, you guys are gonna love this. Holy smokes. Okay, we're gonna need some melted butter. Oh my... So good. We may have burnt our stove top a little bit, but it's still not as bad as my transom. 
Mo lobster, mo betta. Look at that. Empty lobster tail. This is the best lobster I've ever had in my life, I think. Take me away. Look at all that main lobster. Mousy! He's about to be the happiest kitty in the world. She's unsure of it. She's not a fish girl. Mm -mm. I guess the new tiger man. Got it! Holy moly. Look at the inside of that shell. It's like more than the tail. That's unreal. Oh. Wow. Caitlin. Hi, Kel. If our boat would have sank, you would have had to eat all this by yourself. I bet you're pretty upset right now. I would have filmed it for you and, and uploaded it. Thank you. Is it outro time? We've been eating the fish over here too. Wait, the light. Non-stop mm. eating. Your snapper is so good. Originally, we wanted to do like a nice lobster with the fish next to the lobster with some salad, but it doesn't always work out the way you want it to. Thank you for watching. What do you normally say on your <laughs> outros? Dude, it's way past my bedtime. I got to trade in a few hours. <laughs> Damn. I said, I said, wait, what do I say? Uh, uh, <laughs> hey, I, I can't even think Just right now. Just close your eyes and let it come to you naturally. Uh, like always, stay safe, make some awesome trades. I say, don't do anything silly, don't over trade. What is the equivalent to that in fishing? Yeah, right? Don't buy too much fishing gear of fish you're not gonna fish for. <laughs> Unless it's from South Florida Fishing Channel. Unless it's from <laughs> South Florida Fishing Channel. Dot com. Then you're supporting a cause. Yeah, a real good cause, like a new transom. <clears throat> new transom, more lobster. <laughs> All right, I love I love my fans. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next episode. Cheers. Yeah.